What's up, tubers? It's James here, and welcome to my daily October series, Horror Recommendations for the Easily Scared. Now, first and foremost, Twilight sucks. Now that I got your attention, <laughs> we're going with the movie uh, Double. Well, okay, we're going with the original, and then we're going with the sequ- with the remake um, of Let the Right One In, which is uh, Swedish, I think, I believe. Yes, should be Swedish. Yes. Um, so, let the right one in. When Oscar, I am going to butcher these fucking names, by the way. Uh, Kaherhead de Brandt. Apologies. A sensitive, bullied 12-year-old boy living with his mother in suburban Sweden. So I'm assuming it's Swedish. Meet his new neighbour, the mysterious and moody Ellie. Lena Leanderson. Apologies again. They st- and they strike up a friendship. Initially reserved with each other, Oscar and Ellie slowly form a close bond. But it soon becomes apparent that she is no ordinary young girl. Eventually, Ellie shares her dark, macabre secret with Oscar, revealing her connection to a string of bloody local murders. Well, um, that movie came out in 2008. It's an, a, uh, a novel by... Oh, fuck me. Uh, John Adjavid Lividquist. Again, I am so sorry. Um, <clears throat> I haven't read the novel... But I love vampires, and um, this is a great vampire movie. Yes, it's Swedish. Yes, it's subtitled. But um, <clears throat> you've got to get over that because some great horror movies or some great movies in general have subtitles, are in different languages. Um, this, uh, sorry, by me. Like I said, this is what Twilight should have been. Everyone think, well, oh, I can't say that. Most people think delusion. I'll say, oh, I'm going to say this. Delusional women. Yes, I'm sparking up a debate here. Delusional women think that um, Twilight is a romantic novel series. It, a slash movie series. No, it's fucking not. It's abusive. It's, um... Disgusting. Um, it's a um, about a, uh, a girl who's obsessed with getting a fucking boyfriend. Uh, no, I do apologise. I get heated when I talk about uh, Twilight and all that stuff. But um, I will calm down now. <laughs> but I will do another video on this later because I have. I really want you to know how much I fucking hate Twilight and all that shit. I read and watched all the movies and, and the books just so I could argue the point about it. And I'm proud to do so. It was hard. The acting was awful. The writing was worse. But it was done. And I'm glad I'd done it. Because I can argue the point that you're wrong, you think it's romantic, and all that bullshit. They're not vampires! They're not murderers, and it's just creepy. So, back onto the movies. Uh, yes, 2008 movie. I'm not going to say the original title. Swedish um, novel, I believe. Um, set in Sweden. A cast is, oh, God. Karia Herdebrandt as Oscar. Lena Lenderson as Ellie. Pierre Ragnar as Hakan. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother. Um, yes. And it only took two years for it to get a remake. For an American remake. And personally, I believe they did a pretty good job with the remake. Because it it's quite like, not all remakes are good. Not every movie needs a remake. But um, it's it, it worked for it. Um, Love the Right One is rated R. But Let Me In, for my Australian audience, is rated MA. For my American fan base, is rated R. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, And the synopsis for that one is basically the same, but 
Bullied at school and neglected at home and incredibly lonely. 12-year-old Owen, uh, Cody Schmidt McPhee, he does an alright Oscar, or Owen, sorry, spends his days pulling revenge on his tormentors. Yeah, yeah, this, okay, hold on. And spends his nights spying on other residents of the apartment complex. His sole friend is Abby, Chloe Grace Moretz. I love her. A strange girl who comes out of only at night time. Really? <laughs> Both our cast are two form a strong bond. When Abby's caretaker disappears amid a series of gruesome murders, Owen begins to suspect that she is hiding a terrible secret. That is a shit synopsis because I kind of think you figure, from memory, I think you figured it out beforehand. But. Um, yes, uh, the American one, directed by Matt Reeves, uh, screenplay by the original uh, writer, John Avid Lindquist, and also written by Matt Reeves. What has Matt Reeves done? Oh, sweet. He's written uh, War of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. He directed Cloverfield. Let's not talk about that. Um, yes. Ooh. Oh, he's just scheduled for the Batman. Nice. Sorry, guys. Um, fanboying out here. <laughs> but yes, uh, Cody Schmidt Rafi is Owen. Chloe Grace Moretz is Abby. Richard Jenkins is the father. Uh, Cara Buono is Owen's mother. What's she from? Oh, you would know her from if you watch if you've got Netflix. Um, uh, watching Stranger Things. She's Karen Wheeler. She's the Wheeler's mother. Nice. She's not that much into this movie, but yeah. Um, you've uh Dylan Minetti. You may know him from Don't Breathe, Thirteen Reasons Why, as Clay Jen Jensen. Um, Scandal as uh, Jerry Grant Jr. Um, Awake as Rex Britton. He's been in a few series, but yeah. But um, yeah, Dylan Minette, Minetti plays the school, uh, the bully in this movie. Ironic. Um, uh, Jimmy Jacks uh, Pinchard as one of the other bullies. Nicole, Nicole uh, Dorian as another bully. And, um, L Larry, Chris Browning as Jack, I think, as the other bully. But yes. <clears throat> okay, so the Let Me In synopsis. Kind of seems like he wants revenge. He does, because he he's an outcast at school. He's getting bullied. It's the same in uh, Let the Right One In. They're, they're both bullied kids. Owen and Oscar, and it's, he wants to defend himself, but if you defend yourself, you're going to get in trouble, because you're the one get, that gets caught out, and um, you'll be the one in trouble, um, so one day, he decides to snap and get revenge, or, or get uh, fight back, um, he wields a uh, stick and hits the bully in the ear, cutting it off, I think, from memory, um, and uh, it's like, yeah, it's like, well, okay, cool, 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 um, I'm about to show a scene, or well, play a scene from Let the Right One In, the uh, Swedish movie. Um, it's been like they, uh, let, uh, what was, oh, God damn it. Ellie's moved in for, let's say, a month, I think. And Oscar kind of thinks he knows her, well, her secret. Like, he, he knows she's a vampire. But um, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a ballsy scene, like um. Okay, I'll, I don't know. I'll just playing. He's home alone, having dinner. I think, yeah, dinner. And um, Ellie's at the door, and she's doing what proper vampires are to do. May I be invited in? And apparently, the rules are they actually do need to be invited in. But he's being a cocky, a cocky motherfucker about it. Sure. Hey. <laughs> she's she's waiting for an invite. She's just standing there patiently. He's like, 
like, you know, as a 12-year-old girl should be. Like, she's technically older than that. Um, and Oscar's like, come on, come on. Not, in, not initially inviting her in, but, like, say, like not saying the words, but doing the action. And, like, you're free to do whatever you want. You must have been in me. It's like, you have to invite me in. What happens if I don't? It's like, what happens if you walk in anyway? And she's like, <sighs> like, she's been through that before. Like, fine, I'll play along. He's been, he, he's being a curious asshole motherfucker. Let's just, let's just give him what he wants. He's being a cookie brick too. Like, is there something in the way? Not for me. Is there something for you? <laughs> Be like, kill it, kill it. I was thinking, for a bullied kid at school, you're, and for a, a girl that likes you, you're being pretty ballsy. You're being a cocky arso, actually. So he moves out the way, she walks in, but you can see it on her face that she's like, this is going to be painful. This is going to hurt. This is going to fucking suck. Okay. It takes probably about 20 seconds. But her body starts to reject the non-invitation and punish her. And as... You, Oscar is watching, he's watching Ellie bleed to, nearly to death. It's like, what the fuck? Too far, come on. It's kind of like a poker move. She's like, fuck it, if you want to see what happens, fine. And then he's like, no, 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 stop. Like, you can come in. You can come in. I don't, I don't want you to die. Oh, I love this movie so much. Me, I do. Some of them. He wants to ask questions, but it's like she's being rather snappy about it. Oh, I, I don't blame her. She's covered in blood and it's like, dude, you wanted this. But yes. Um. Like I like I said, I love this movie. It's got some it's got like what everyone wants. Got a bit of romance, got some drama, got some great jump scares. Like if you want um it's not uh, the worst that I've done for this week. But it's nice to end week three off with something that you're watching and be like, ah, because it's act it's like it's a really good movie. Watch the original, watch the remake, and form your own opinion. But um, there are some great scenes, and it's, like I said, it's what Twilight should have been. Not the, oh, I sparkle, and I'm in the sunshine, and I kill people, but I'm a monster. It's like they do what they need to do. The father figure is technically her handler, or her previous love interest from years ago, all grown up. And it's like, ah. Oh. And so I'm about to play another scene. But this is from Let Me In. Mostly because from it's basically the same thing from Let The Right One In, but more English. Again, sorry for that. <laughs> but um, it's... Uh, he's... the uh, Owen, 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 Owen. Owen. Yes, Owen has been, has, hasn't been bullied in, let's say... A week because the bully has turned tail and changed his pants in a way. Because um, he hit him in the ear, lost his ear or whatever. But um, the bully has told his elder brother. Yeah, and the elder brother is doing his own form of justice. And yes, it's in the Let the Right One In, it's a great scene. In Let, the, Let Me In, it's also a great scene too. It's intense as well. You stay underwater for 
Three minutes. If you can do it, I'll just give you a little neck. Your cheek. But if you can't, I'm gonna poke out one of your eyes. Got it? Bullet just is so fucking retarded. Three minutes. Better take a deep breath. And I think this is technically also in real time because uh, that's how that uh, the movie gets you. You're w under wars up with Owen slash Oscar at the same time, and you, you're probably holding your breath as well. You're like, is he gonna fucking survive? But is it like, what the fuck? Sorry, it's just all the bullies are over the pool watching and. Owen's like fucking panicking, but then he's he realizes, hold on, fuck it, I'm a piece. They're gonna get charged for whatever. Dylan's character, Larry, 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 Kenny, sorry, is kind of panicking, which is a surprise. I said shut up. <laughs> uh, it's <laughs> but it's it's a it's a quick scene, but um you hear windows crashing and it's just um Ellie knows Ellie Um Ellie knows uh Abby, sorry, knows something is up. And so she's come to take revenge. And you just see, as his hand is bit, he's the head being held underwater, the bodies are flying everywhere. She is fucking pissed. It's a bit more better in the let the right one in, the Swedish one, because it's in daylight. And this one's more in the dark because, oh, we're America. Let's make it scary in the dark. Rare. <laughs> oh, I fucking love it. <laughs> oh, he's got nothing on him. But yes, um, for the American remake, you might know Cody Schmidt McPhee. I'm sorry if I fucked that name up. Uh, from The Road, he's a uh, Nightcrawler from X Men. He, he's in Gallipoli as Thomas Johnson. I don't know. Um, but yeah, he, he's a he's a skinny dude. Um, he's grown up tall and lanky, uh, as well as for uh, Chloe Grace Moretz. You might know you might know from Kerry, The Fifth Wave, uh, Kick Ass One and Two, The Equalizer, for a brief moment, Neighbors Two. Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah. So after you know this week where I've given you cannibal French horror, clown horror. Uh, What's his name? The Fly. Sorry. The Fly. Body horror with Cronenberg. Uh, sexy, painful horror with teeth. Um, time travel horror with The Caller. And um, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, The Visit. I'm giving you something nice and loving. Vampire related. Has some good jump, like like I said, some good jump scares. Um, guys, uh, get this one out for your girlfriend or your partner or whatever. Um, show them what true vampires are supposed to be because it has some really good lore um, about vampire-ness and everything. Um, it, it's a romantic style movie. I know they're 12. Well, he's 12, she's question mark. But it's... Like I said, it's what Twilight should have been. It's it's a lovely, it's awesome. I showed this to my one of my girlfriends at, on our first night together, and um, we both loved it. And 
when I get to know someone and I want to show them a, a great movie and if we're both in the movie subtitles uh, or whatever, I will show them like the right one in or let me in and um, yeah, it usually goes, goes down well. Um, yes, so like, share, subscribe, leave a comment on if you've watched both of them, I only watched the American one and I was a bit confused. If uh, you liked the vampire law within both Let the Right One In and Let Me In. Because in Let the Right One In, there is a weird scene in that where Oscar kind of sees her naked. But we, and so do we. And it's like, ah, but yes. Um, if you also agree, if it was what Twilight should have been. But, uh, and yeah, and just... If you were... Uh, in the same situation, would you befriend a vampire? Yep. Depending on the vampire, but would you befriend a vampire? And that's what I'm going to leave you with. So yes, like, share, subscribe, guys. Leave a comment. And remember, um, as I always say, during this week, and the upcoming week is going to be hardcore month, or hardcore final week. We're going into the hard hitters. Some... Um, foreign films, a lot of the big burly bastards and ones to give you nightmares. Hereditary's on the list, Event Horizon, Jason, uh, Michael Myers. Mm-hmm, <laughs> they're coming. Um, so, also, let's build the trust before scaring them shitless.